Well, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, and this is my weekly IGTV live show. I'm sitting here in the car, kind of waiting for my employee. Every day I do a Facebook live show at 8.30 on my channel. My name is Roger Kaiserling, R-O-G-E-R-K-E-Y-S-E-R-L-I-N-G. Uh, you can go to Facebook and watch my shows every morning around 8.30-ish. I'm supposed to start them at 8.30, but sometimes it's a little later. Um, every week, I go on IGTV and I discuss what will be talked about on my Facebook Lives every day of the week. By the way, there's my dog peeking in. <laughs> but I go on Facebook Live and I discuss every day of the week the topics that I mentioned today in my IGTV. Normally, they have to do with what's going on in e-commerce and what's going on in my business. I have lots of businesses involved in all kinds of things, blogs and apps and websites and platforms. So even if you're just watching things about my business, it's quite often useful to most people. All right, well, that's my little introduction telling you what this is all about. Also, all of my IGTV shows get sent out on my Ecom Tips podcast. That's another thing that you should check out is my Ecom Tips podcast. All of my blog articles um, get narrated and put in the podcast, and I put a lot of stuff in there. I do very well with my podcast. My views are over 40,000. I have over 125 people that watch every single podcast. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. All right, well, let's get to it. I'm not going to make this very long today. This week, I watch a show on Sunday, every Sunday, Bolo Rama, that's Jay Craft Show. This week on Jay Craft Show, I always do a little mention it on my IGTV on Monday. Uh, this week on his show, he was talking about the payments. He was talking about some funny things about how PayPal is removed from eBay to be added to eBay. And it, the wording was very, very funny. You really need to watch Jay Craft's show every Sunday. It's a great way to kind of surmise what happened and what's coming up. That's kind of what I do on my IGTV show on Monday. But for this purpose, it is basically to talk about what e-commerce subjects we're going to discuss on my Facebook Live all week and what my business is doing so you'll know what things that are, I'm working on and I'll be talking about. All right, topic one for this week. Now, there's no particular order. I just name them off my numbers. Topic one this week, which means it can be talked about any time throughout this next week, is going to be Tailwind. My VA is working on Tailwind. He took him a week to watch the videos and do the training. He's got it pretty much figured out. He went to Tailwind. I went and looked at what he did last night on Tailwind. He had got the drafts in there, and he had put one board. So I had to tell him, well, the whole point of having Tailwind is to put all the boards that those products will go into and then schedule them. So, uh, But he got the basic working down, and he was able to put the Pinterest verification on my website. A lot of people ask how to do that. Some people pay services to do that, but he did it for me. I could have done it myself, but I actually wanted him to do it. He needs to learn where the things are on my site for the coding. All right, so one thing we'll be talking about this week quite a bit will be Tailwind, Pinterest, and Instagram, how those all work together. My VA is handling that, so he pops in quite often on my Monday shows, uh, or on my uh, morning shows, even though it's the middle of the night for him. Uh, he pops in quite often during the week on Facebook, so we'll be discussing that, especially when my VA is watching. All right, so that's one thing we'll be talking about. Another thing that I did just a few days ago is I have two sites that I am removing, not because they're not doing well, but they're not flipping into income and their overhead cost is too high just for the traffic I get for them. I can get the traffic from other sites. So I had two WordPress sites, was up today. Now, what's up today is still a term you're going to hear me use. You're even going to see links to going to what's up today, but it's going to be going to a different WordPress site than it was originally created for. No big deal. That's really a back end thing. It doesn't really matter to most viewers. But I'm getting rid of the two WordPress sites because they're paid and I'm using the free WordPress site. There's no reason. If I'm not actually creating the blogs on the WordPress site, they're ending up there because I do my blogging at keywebco.com. By the way, keywebco.com is where you need to look for everything. Everything I do is there. It's a store, but hit the menu and you'll just see unbelievable amounts of stuff available to you. You can get free, you can get a free Prairie Grid store for a month. You can get free apps. All that stuff's at Keywebco. I'm not going to go on about that now. All right. So, 
because I changed the blogs, this is the way it works. I used to write a blog in Writers That Inspire, which is a recipe. Then it would auto-feed to whatsuptoday.com, but it never appeared at keywebco.com. Eh, not good. Then I would write all of my business articles at keywebco.com, and then those would appear at whatsuptoday.com, but not in Writers That Inspire. So to trim it down so everything is everywhere, and I only have one place I need to do create the blogs, and I don't have to do anything after. Now what happens is I create a blog at keywebco.com, and then IFTTT, we will talk about that this week. That's what I'm bringing up. That's another subject that we'll talk. That's if this happens, then that. It's coding without needing to know coding. It's for RSS feeds. It's a way to market your stuff. So we'll be talking about the blogs. The blogs now go from Key Web Co. And then they end up at a site on WordPress called keywebcoblogs.wordpress.com. So recipes and my informational articles, do-it-yourself, uh, e-com tips, all of it now will be at keywebco.com. And my other WordPress site, which is keywebcoblogs.wordpress.com. So to do that, I use IFTTT. I'm moving on. So we'll be talking about that this week. That's a little complicated. It's very easy to use apps that are already made in IFTTT, but you need to create your own to make sure that you get the flow going. Because once you make an app on IFTTT to automatically, like if I have an app that automatically post my blog to the WordPress site, and then the WordPress site has another one that automatically makes a pin. I need to make sure that that pin board doesn't have an IFTTT that will automatically make a Facebook post or another pin. So you have to make sure that you're, the way that those automations work always lined out where they end where you want them to end with no more shares after. I have a network of those Basically, everything I touch goes to 300 and, 350 places within about a month, just through auto automation, not manually posting. So in a wrong-winded way, what I'm telling you is I use IFTTT to push a button and everything else is done. I don't have to do the extra shares or anything else. Another thing that we're going to talk about this week, my shirt's too big. Another thing that we're going to talk about this week is Poshmark. By the way, this shirt was, was brand new with a tag on it, and I didn't have anything to clean to wear, so I said, ah, this isn't getting sold. I'll put it on, but I didn't bother to look at the size. It's X large, so I guess I'll be selling it used. But uh, uh, Poshmark has actually been pretty good for me. One of the things we're going to talk about is what can you put on Poshmark? Everyone tries to push the limit. They like Poshmark. Certain things you can list there, certain things you can't. For example, on Poshmark, I can put makeup for sale on Poshmark, but I don't believe I can put a hairdryer because that's not actually a clothing accessory. Okay, so you, uh, we'll be talking about Poshmark this week. All right, to recap, this is my Monday IGTV live show. It's also going out on Ecom Tips Podcast. You need to go to keywebco.com. That's where you can find out everything I'm doing. And then the reason for my IGTV Monday show is to tell you what the topics are going to be this week at Roger Kaiserling on Facebook Live. I've been doing a Facebook Live show for years. I have lots of watchers. I have a lot of sellers that come in just to see what I'm talking about because you never know. I might just toss out something that people have been working on three months to figure out how to do. I do it all the time. One more thing I'm going to mention, then I'm going to let everyone go. Make sure that you watch the Bolarama show on YouTube. That's J Craft Show. It's a great way to get your information about what's going on without having to sift through a bunch of hearsay and nonsense. Very good show. It's taking off like a bullet. As a matter of fact, that reminds me, I need to call Audrey at eBay and make sure he gets a press pass. I want to make sure that he's getting in the back rooms because that's where I know everybody. When he covers eBay Open, he needs a press pass because that's how I'm getting my coverage this year of eBay Open. I, I watch the company byline stuff and then I go find out what the real news is. 
Alrighty, guys, have a wonderful day. Make sure you check out keywebco.com and I will see you on a live show next week. However, I do do videos every single day on IGTV. They're just a video with a voiceover. You don't actually have to look at my face. All right, guys, I'll see everyone live again on Monday.